hey guys welcome back to my channel haven't done like a sit down video in a while and i haven't done a makeup video in a while so i'm very excited to be back and talk about makeup and today i look like i have no lips at all because i'm wearing no lipstick because the video will be all about lips and i'm very excited i got the most exciting package in the mail this week and that's what got me into doing this video so let me show you what i got how pretty is the box Ugh, i'm the worst at this type of videos look at these strings let's do it again let's pretend you never saw the box look what i got in the mail wow <laughs> it's the new nova beauty lunch i think it's the first like nova beauty product so Nova Beauty is part of Fashion Nova. If you don't know Fashion Nova, you're probably living under a rock. <laughs> There's a lot of talk about Fashion Nova for the last few years and they just came out with Nova Beauty. So I'm super excited to try. I'm gonna open the box for you guys. Oh my gosh, double me. <laughs> Have you seen like this huge mirror? I'm so obsessed with the box. It's so cute, all black, very fancy and a huge S mirror. So it has this paper wrap. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty and so much stuff. I count 48 items on this box, 48 leap related items. This is crazy. It's so pretty to look at and uh, I'm so thankful that Nova Beauty sent me all this. I don't think I have like days left in my life to wear all of this. So I'll probably uh, give some of these away to my friends and family, maybe. We have lipstick in here, we have gloss in here and what looks like lip liner. So we have everything that we need to create a bunch of different lip looks and that's my goal for this video exactly. So lips are that part of makeup where some people just put on like a regular lipstick and go but there's actually a lot of different possibilities for you to do your lips and that's what i want to show on this video i'm going to show you nine different ways of doing your lips trying the new items from nova beauty that i just received so yeah let's start this video all right so the first type of lips that i'm gonna do is my I would say 70 to 8% of the time what I wear on a daily. So I discovered this technique, it's not that is a, like a mind blowing technique. Just that I discovered that since I have very dry lips, when I used balm and then applied my lip liner, it goes so smoothly on top of the balm, like a transparent balm, that it allows me to create a very pretty lip with an outline that smudges beautifully into the balm and creates almost like an ombre, a very like natural look that I love on a daily. So I'm gonna recreate that with these items and that will be the first. And instead of balm, I'm gonna try one of their glosses and I'm not gonna call this a gloss plus lip liner lip just yet because I'm just going to go with a clear gloss instead of a balm here I really don't want the full light gloss effect but I was reading the PR newsletter for this and one of the things they mention is that this gloss is not like as sticky as other glosses it's not that like super sticky formula so it's more of a light formula so I'm expecting to have something that feels more like a balm let's try this you see, I already did again here because it's not like as like thick as other glosses. And for me personally, I actually love it because I'm not a big fan of gloss. Gloss is actually my least favorite lip product. It's the one that I wear the less. I prefer like a balm or something like that because I don't like the feeling of sticking like hair and everything on the lips. But this one is quite nice it doesn't feel like i have a whole jelly on top of my lips so yeah i think this works quite well for this technique as a balm so and now for the lip liner i'm gonna try this color which is called pink nude and their liners are like this so you just 
roll it open i really like that so you don't have to sharpen your liner all the time and i'm just gonna start lining them i always overline my top lip not my bottom one but my top i always this big mirror will come in handy if you find me looking down i'm just looking at the mirror so as you see it rolls so easily on top of the balm or in this case gloss instead of creating like a super sharp line it's more like a faded one which i really dig oh my gosh this combo is like my favorite thing ever how good does it look i think it looks stunning <laughs> saying this about myself of my own technique because i'm i'm like humble like that <laughs> no but for real this is what i wear like 80 percent of the time in terms of technique because i feel it looks so natural it doesn't look like i have like this super stained lips or anything they look like they're hydrated and beautiful and overlined like i love it so yeah you can play around with the color you choose of course like the darkest you go the least natural you will look but it still looks amazing and you could have that like y2k vibe with a more like brown liner and i do that actually a few times so this is a technique i like to call balm plus liner and it's my fave <laughs> All right, now for the next technique, we are going to use just liner. So I realized the new Nova Beauty liners have not only that um, roll-up edge, but also on the other side, they have this kind of sponge brush. Very cute, by the way, for you to be able to smudge your liner into a lipstick. So that's the technique I'm going to use right now. And I want to use a different color from the liner that I use, so I'm going to use the brown. Round zero one, I think. And for this, I'm gonna start just lining the lip. I'm not sure if I still have some balm left because it's going so smoothly or if the liner itself is smooth, but I think I'm just realizing it's that smooth and I'm very happy about it. So on this one, since we don't have the balm before, you can see that it creates a more like pigmented line than before instead of like a gradient. And I'm trying to add a lot of pigment because we need it for the mudging process. Let's see how it goes if I need to add more because this is honestly the first time that I'm trying this brush. So, feedback. I think it smudges, like the brush smudges really well the liner, but I think it definitely needs more uh, layers if you want to be able to cover the entire lips. So, I'm gonna go again. All right, so I think I'm happy with them now. Like I told you, I feel it needs like two layers of well pigmented liner so you can smudge for the entire lips, especially if you have like bigger lips. But um, it's not like my favorite technique, I have to say, because I have dry lips. So the brush on top of my lips again and again, it's not like as comfortable as just putting the clear gloss again and smudging it all out. But I guess it really depends on your kind of lips. And it works because I think it looks great. So yeah, this is the second technique in color brown. What I like to call just liner. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to get in the lipstick, like just lipstick part. And I have three sections of this because in this entire box, they say the lipsticks have three different finishes. So they have the matte finish, the satin finish and the shimmer finish. And I'm going to start with the matte one. I have this color called Attached that I feel is going to be my favorite, but let's see. Oh, it's actually very creamy for a matte lipstick. I'm very curious about this. Everything is very like smooth when you apply it, you know, it's very like smooth. <laughs> so here it is. First, I'm such a big fan of this color and I haven't tried the other ones yet, but I have this feeling that this will be my favorite in terms of lipsticks because I love matte finish and this color is just my type, very 
nude but like grayish and cool tone nude so yeah i love the application it's very smooth very fast and in terms of like matte finish it's not as matte as liquid lipsticks that i have that i tried before but honestly once again it's a plus for me but i guess it depends on your personal taste because for me i don't like how dry it makes my lips when the lipsticks are too matte finish and this one is matte finish like you look at me and it's not like my lips are like glowing but at the same time it's not dry at all it's actually very very creamy so for me it's a plus i guess it depends on your personal taste but i really love this one Alright, so for the other finish we have satin finish and I'm gonna try a different color because I've been like doing nudes since I started the video and it's my favorite of course but I need to show you other stuff. So I'm gonna show you a red one, actually it's my favorite after the nude, it's red. So very rare that I wear red but when I do, I like it. <laughs> oh my gosh! I wasn't expecting this to be so smooth and so pigmented. This was so fast to apply, have you seen it? It looked like magic. Damn! The amount of pigment on this is crazy good. Usually when lipsticks are this smooth, there's barely any color in them. And this is like the pigment of a liquid lipstick, it's just as pigmented. Okay, so I'm <laughs> completely shocked and obsessed with Mr. Flair right here. I thought like this wouldn't be for me because I'm not like a satin finish lipstick kind of girl. I usually love my lip liners, sometimes a bit of gloss, of balm and sometimes a little bit of a nude matte lipstick. But satin finish is usually not for me, but Mr. Flair, <laughs> this is a satin lipstick from Nova Beauty. Alright, so now we have the last finish for the lipsticks and this is the shimmer one and this color I'm gonna use is called Lavish It's like a deep plum, not really my style of color but I want to show you different colors here on this video so let's see how the shimmer, once again, so pigmented, oh my god Alright, so here we have it once again, super fast to apply, super pigmented and super creamy. And so in terms of the lipstick, I'm a big fan, but in terms of like color and the finish, it's not really my style. I'm not a big fan of this like dark that it's not like red, neither like burgundy, like this plum. It's not really my style and I'm not a big fan of shimmer as well on the lips, but it depends on personal taste and I wanted to show you the most different things that I could on this video, so yeah. Now, my lips are getting numb <laughs> after all this lipstick. But before we go to gloss, I want to show you one last thing with the lipsticks, one uh, last technique that actually I've not been wearing as much now Sometimes I do, but last year was my main deal. <laughs> I was rocking these lips every day last year and it's like the ombre lip uh, or the tint lip. I don't know how people call this. And actually it's like a very trendy thing in Asian countries. I see it a lot in Korea and also in Japan. They use a lot of lip tints and sometimes they only apply in the center. That's basically what I'm going for here. I'm going to start with this OG lipstick. And it's more like a nude color once again. I'm gonna apply it to the entire lips. Once again, super, super fast to apply. And then I'm gonna go with Blaze, which is another red, and just apply it in the center. Just as easy as that. And you can do this red part with lipstick or lip gloss if you prefer, but just apply it to the center Touch it up a bit. 
that was weird and uh it looks like an ombre lip i miss this i really like this lips and you can also like smudge it out if you prefer the first lipstick with your fingers but i kind of dig it like this so i'm gonna leave it like this but yeah that's the ombre technique Okay, next technique, almost at the end, thank god, or my lips are going to fall off. <laughs> that accent was weird. And uh, I'm gonna try this one, it's called T, the lip gloss. And since it's just lip gloss, I'm gonna do a more like shimmer one, because I think it's more like different. So, looks shimmer. I never wear just gloss, by the way, so a little weird but I gotta show you all the different ways all right just like I told you in the beginning it's not like the stickiest gloss so it's not like over glowing uh, but I love it for me because once again I'm not a big fan of gloss of course it depends on your taste but yeah I would probably add a liner here because that's just me but here's the just gloss formula All right, next technique is the liner plus gloss and what like differs this one to the first one is that first one you apply the balm or gloss first and then the liner here is the opposite so I'm gonna apply this liner which is also brown but it's like the darkest shade they have so brown number two and then I'm gonna add the gloss makes a sound that is called No Cap, which is probably my favorite gloss from their collection, which is a nude, of course. And this is the liner plus gloss technique, and these shades in particular, I love them together, because it reminds me of like, probably JLo, Y2K era, and I think it's just so pretty. So highly, highly recommend this one, probably going to rock it a couple of times can't believe we are going for the last one thank god my lips highly appreciate that i'm going to call this the glorious tree formula which is the one that you get together the three types of lip products the three types of lip products lip liner plus lipstick and then gloss on top so that's if you have time this is a very good technique and i'm gonna start using the nude liner this is actually called the nude and it's perfect for me if it's called the nude love this liner by the way next i'm gonna add the lipstick called heaven These lipsticks are so easy to apply, so fast, so weird. Love this color combo. And to finish it off, I'm gonna add a lip gloss. Now I'm gonna go with this one called Thirsty to add a little bit of sparkle. And that's it. Also love this combo so much. And once again, if you have time, this is like the perfect combo if you wear all the three. But I understand in a hurry, if you want to do a lot of retouches, it's easier to go with one of the other techniques that I showed you. But I had to show you the full one. And that's all guys, hope you liked the video, hope you liked all the techniques. If you have any questions about these lipsticks, if you feel like I haven't mentioned something and you are thinking about buying, maybe you have questions, let me know in the comments and I will reply for sure. I really love like giving you guys the feedback of the Nova Beauty, I really love everything, uh, I wouldn't lie to you guys. I think they are really good, very creamy and I have dry lips, so for my lips they are all, all the formulas are perfect, no like dry formula here and um yeah i'm really happy with everything of course i'm a fan of the nude colors but if you're more like funky with lips just go and experiment other colors and yeah that's it thank you nova beauty for sending all of this and see you again 
next video whenever that is bye